welcome to the Boston Roll channel. If you want to support my daily Eternal Magic offerings while getting amazing perks like the Boston Roll Discord community, have me play your deck on the channel, or list inside where guides before tournaments, check out the Patreon or YouTube membership program. This channel is possible because of these amazing sponsors. Check them out, all their links are in the video description. As always, thanks for being here. Let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. Today I'm playing Legacy, and this is an early access Modern Horizons 3 stream. That means I'll have access to these cards for a few days. Well, about 12 hours. You'll see a couple days worth of videos, and then they will be gone for about a week, and then they will come back. Sorry if that's confusing, but we do get a little sneak peek at the excitement of Necro Dominance. This deck comes from Patreon subscriber Francis York Morgan, who Ended up in kind of the same headspace as I was thinking about Necrodominance, which is exciting to me. On the Eternal Glory podcast, we were talking about all the combo applications of this. And I was like, what about just an aggro tempo deck? Like Lower Potence, the old Pro Tour winning deck that Randy Bueller won the Pro Tour with thousands of years ago. It's literally just an attacking deck that can draw four to seven cards per turn. And you're not trying to combo out, you're just trying to keep your opponent behind. And in that episode of the podcast, Phil said, yeah, Exsanguinator Cavalry is a great card for that because it dovetails with Dark Ritual and it has Lifelink, which means you get to draw more cards with Necrodominance. And other than Murktide Regent, this deck doesn't care about its graveyard. So Necrodominance just kind of in here, doing its thing, vibing. This is a very traditional blue-black tempo deck. We've got Days, we've got Force of Will, Delver of Secrets, Orcish Bowmaster, and... The only weird decisions are the Necro Dominance, the Dark Ritual to enable it, Exsanguinator Cavalry, and I included one March of Wretched Sorrow. Because if we have a bunch of cards in hand from Necro Dominance, that might mean we could pitch a bunch of black spells to just gain a bunch of life in a spot where there's one creature to kill and we'd like to keep drawing cards. And March is just a efficient enough answer to Orcish Bowmaster, which is the card I'm most worried about playing against with this deck. We got Delver, Dave, Wa Days, Wasteland, Force of Will, Brainstorm, Ponder, all that normal stuff. Necro Dominance as the hammer. Let's get into it. This is Francis York Morgan's Necro Tempo. I'm on the draw in our first match. I'm playing against Phil Thraven U for most or all of these matches. The early access pool. I can't just join a league. I have to play against people. That might mean this is three or four matches instead of five, but I'm going to try to do what I can. I'm going to keep this. I think this is black-white taxes, but I like my land count here, and I like double threat. Kind of put them under pressure right away. And this is exactly the type of hand that can leverage a necro. Oh, I thought I was on the draw. I'm on the play. That's even better. All right. I waffled about this hand for reasons that are completely irrelevant. Love this hand on the play. Delver, go get him. If you're interested in Delver and not quite ready to commit to the Necro Dark Ritual life, I also think Psychic Frog is pretty cool for blue-black X Delver shells. That one might be good enough. No room for it in here, though. That was a pretty good turn one. Killed my Delver and played Aether Vial. Okay, Undercity Sewers first. In this Underground Sea. And play another Delver. If he had to Solitude on turn one, Probably is a good sign that he wasn't ready to beat a Delver yet. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have two of those. I don't even like the one you have. I decided to pick up C instead of Sewers, just in case I draw a two-drop. Force of Will, reveal that. Not that it matters or helps, without a blue card in my hand. There is a Watery Grave in this deck I can fetch with Bloodstained Mire. Okay, hard mode activated. Necrodominance, let's do it. The Vile's on two, represents Thalia, represents Stoneforge. Might just get run over this game. I'm going to get the Watery Grave now while it's shields down. Come on, Necro, let's do it. Murktide Region. I mean, that card isn't awful. I'm going to attack first, see what they got. Viling in something here. Okay, this is the new card. Enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target non basic land. It can control and may search for a basic land, put it on the battlefield tap. I don't have any of those. Wild. Oh, and this is a flying first striker? Jesus. Mistakes were made. Okay, huge blowout. Congrats, Phil. You got your highlight moment in the 
the early stream. Wow. Okay. Yep. I'm sure Death and Texas players knew all about that one, but I'm not one of those. I am going to fetch because I would like to draw spells. I have a 4 4 now. Not very big, but it is in play, which is important. Flying first strike 2 2, huh? Swords of Plowshares, get out of here, me. All right. He had his showcase moment. I would like to clap back by drawing Necromentia and just drawing seven cards and showing him what's what. Left Aether Vial on two. Oh, come on, Dak. This is also really bad because he knows that I don't have any basics now and we're going to have to play three games with him having this just strip mine creature in his deck. Oh no, the doggo. When Felia, Exuberant Shepherd attacks, exile, exile up to one other target non-land permanent. At the start of next end step, return that permanent on the battlefield under its owner's control. If it entered under your control, put a plus one counter on Doggo. All right, yeah, showcasing all the new cards here. Uh, that means he gets to strip mine me every turn. I'm not going to keep playing this game. You did your thing, Phil. Good job. Okay. Plague Engineer. I like this. Filigree Silex, I think, is good enough. Null Rod's a maybe. I could add Children and Voidwalker just for the beats. Brazen Borrower's interaction. Force of Negation's bad. Daze is pretty bad, even on the play. I don't love it. I don't hate Force of Will. I think the era where we board out Force of Will versus Death and Taxes is mostly past. I just have to balance out. All right, I'm probably not playing Nelra. Not going to have room for it. I like all the removal. I like all the lands. I like all the creatures. Dark Ritual can be a pretty bad draw in this matchup. Because this is likely to get grindy. Oh, Dress Down should come in in response over the last Dark Ritual. I do have an energy field in here. This is sick. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you by sources you control. You don't control. And when a card is put in your graveyard from anywhere, sacrifice energy field. Necro Dominance says cards don't go in your graveyard from anywhere. This is a lock versus decks that don't contain Flicker Wisp. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this alone versus this deck. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can keep this hand. I've got a Delver. I've got additional land drops and stuff to do. Death and Taxes is historically very good versus Delver, though. And having zero basics versus Phil out here testing the destroy target land creature. Tough sell. Arid Mesa. A Plains. And a Path to Exile, you piece of shit. He knows this is going to work, too. Oh, no. Yep, about the worst matchup you could randomly queue into. Not that it's random, but you know what I mean. I think I'd rather ponder twice than hold up dress down. Oh, sick. I like Delver. I don't like that it's not going to flip, but I do like that it's going to find a land and keep the party going. Okay, two planes. Void Orchid Phantom should have held up dress down. Uh, I will use this ability because... I don't want to draw Dothy Voidwalker when I can't cast any cards. Underground C. No, but I'm happy to... No reveal, but I'm happy to find it. And I am going to hold up Dress Down this time. I can't afford another setback. Wasteland, stop! Alright, I guess I have to Dress Down here. It'll push. That kind of keeps me in the game. Right, Delver, what do you got for me? Force of Will, reveal it. Draw for turn. Alright, this thing has Flying. What the hell? It'll push it. Get it out. I gotta start pushing damage. Uh, I'm not gonna fight over this. I think this Force of Will is much more important protecting my land from the next White Orchid Phantom. If he's got another Wasteland straight up, I'm so in trouble. If I rep the land, though, and can protect Insanguinator with Ponder, with Force Ponder, that's really good. Menace Lifelink. Just go to town versus this mono white deck. Saving my force, don't want to fight over the recruiter. This also continues to sell the narrative that I don't have a blue card to go with force. He's seen the force because it flipped the Delver, but I didn't fight over the plow, didn't fight over the recruiter. Oh yeah, let's go. Exsanguinating the countryside. All right, Exsanguinator, get after it. And Phil hasn't seen what my deck actually does yet. The Exsanguinator cavalry should give away that I'm playing Necrodominance. Okay, this can be big enough to win the fight. I mean, he's just got me beat with sequencing here. I'll force this. Because either way, it beats Exsanguinator. And if he just goes land strip mine, 
I'm gonna have to draw a removal spell again. What a horrendous day to choose to play zero basics. It's all right. We're gonna play more matches. He's gonna change decks. We're not doing this the whole time. All right, removal spell. Let's go. Ponder. Can't hit a removal spell off this. I did find a land and a plague engineer. Okay. I mean, that's a, a two-turn system to make this work. Perhaps. There is one underground sea left in my deck. I Ganjo as a land. That's land number five, which means Yorian's live next turn. Or just solituding now. All right. You win. Okay. What a slaughter. Yeah, extremely structurally poorly built deck versus what Phil's doing at these new cards. On to a different matchup. This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including Legacy and everything else you'll see on this channel. There's multiple customizations so you can interact with your deck how you want. Views such as text, grid, or stacks, and groupings like type, subtype, color, color identity, even artist. The site offers light mode, dark mode, and so much more. However you want to see your deck, Moxfield can provide it for you. Follow my Moxfield to keep up with the channel and what I'm playing in paper. I'll see you there. I'm on the play in round two. I will keep this hand. We'll slow and steady. Slow and steady with protection. That's the important part. I do not know what decks Phil has in his stable here. He said he has like 10 different decks to play. I'll take key. Okay. This is probably a uh, Eldrazi that hurts me deck. Mox Opal. But I have Force of Will versus what's going on over there. I'm going to get the Undercity Sewers here. Get that passive selection. Shoulders Edict. Do I think this is going to be useful? And it kills Karn. It kills the Eldrazi. Yeah, I will keep this on spec that it'll be useful. I have two options here. I have Bowmaster or that, depending on what happens here. And also Force of Will, so I have three options. But Force of Will doesn't exclude the other options. It's Bowmaster or Edict plus Force of Will. Urza's Saga. Not quite Metalcraft. All right, there's Metalcraft. That means Urza's Workshop taps for two. This is not where I fight. It would be very exciting to just rip a Wasteland here. Beat up the Urza's Saga. Sanguinator. All right, these stack, by the way. Sanguinator Cavalry reads, whenever a knight you control deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one counter on it. And if you have two, they each get two counters when they hit stuff. All right, I'm just going aggro mode. My creature has Menace. I can Edict, one of the jerks. Oh, Urza's Workshop. This is six mana, by the way. Plus seven, eight. This is eight mana right now. Urza's Workshop is so cool when it works. Uh, I can never beat this card. Good chance this is bait of some kind, but... I mean, he's got enough mana to bait me. Dark Ritual would actually be a really good draw, because it gets my Knights Exsanguinating. Wasteland, okay. I will take that. With pleasure. Wasteland, the Urza Saga. Exsanguinator Cavalry. Two. The Redux. I'm going to attack and make two Blood Tokens and put two counters on this. And then I can Edict the creature next turn. Nice. All right, we're doing it. Let's see how much these Ursus Workshops can mess me up. Is there a follow-up Karn? A follow-up Saga? Oh, no. We're in a lot of trouble. Okay, that's a Karn. Could get just, like, Ensnaring Bridge and I can never win. Are two cards in the hand right now, though. Which means the smaller Exsanguinator and the two Orcs can attack if this is Ensnaring Bridge. Did get Ensnaring Bridge. It's in... I have a main deck Brazen Borrower to deal with that, and basically nothing else. Ooh, getting Hellbent. Smart. I right, played out a bonus Opal just to flush that out. My Blood Tokens don't work. Dark Ritual, right on time. Okay, uh, I'm going to Edict the Karn away. Each opponent sacrifices a Planeswalker. Now my Blood Tokens work. I'll discard Dark Ritual. Happy to see Brainstorm. I would rather see Necro Dominance. Planar Nexus. All right. Add one man of any color. Counts as every non basic land type, including Urza's. So this is a really good Urza's workshop deck. Day's not going to help me at all this game, I'm quite sure. Yo. All right. There's a chance. Brainstorm. I'm going to try to spike the Dark Ritual. Oh, I hit the Brazen Bar. Is that better? 
it's interesting. All right, put back the, the Necros, play the land. And they can, unfortunately, make another construct here. Yeah, I think I just pass, put this Raisin Borrower in the bank. Like, I don't lose these constructs until the Ensnaring Bridge is gone. And we'll see who top decks out of this more. Necro Dominance saved me. Okay. Bunch of 7-7s. Seven they can become 8-8s. Eight they can't attack. Vexing Bobble. All right. Things that cost zero don't happen. God. These Urza Sagas. Phil, chill. I know you only play four. You've seen 14 cards out of your deck and just have three of your best card. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. I'm about to do my thing. Necro Dominance. It's time. This is what we've really been doing the whole time. I'm going to shuffle because I know my top card is another Necrodominance. And then in the end step, I think I'm just going to pay seven. Uh, yeah, let's pay seven life and draw seven cards. Bang. Didn't find any instance here. So I guess I just go to clean up and discard. All right, so force blue card. I don't get a draw step anymore, so these are the cards I have to play with. I want the Wasteland. I think I can live without this Underground Sea. Oh, my hand size is five. I forgot about that. Oh my god. All right, yeah, this is way worse than I thought. One, two, three. Okay. First blue card, Ponder. Got to cut the Wasteland. Yep. That's how that card works. How do I get through here, though? I have to do 15. And these creatures are so big. Okay, I don't draw for turn. I do play Wasteland. Make a construct for the road. I can ponder. That's still allowed. Delver can attack. I'm not going to shuffle. Put the Delver in. I basically have to get one giant attack through on the turn where Ensnaring Bridge is gone. Because if I remove Ensnaring Bridge, he wins. Okay, I'm going to pay two life this time because I remember how this card works now. What are my outs to this situation? I don't have a dress down in the main. Got a couple fatal pushes. Oh, hell no. Come on, man. I do have Orcish Bowmaster in play, and you have Ensnaring Bridge as a big part of your game plan. Oh, wait. Vexing Bobbles in play. I can't even force this if I wanted to. Right. Almost forgot about that. All right. Well, you have it anyway. Okay. Then I can go to my turn. Delver. I don't know if it's going to flip or not. Luda Delta on top. Do not draw for turn. Dark Ritual. Glorian Revealed. Give me those cards. All right, I found a Fatal Push. We're starting to work back out from under these constructs. I guess I don't attack here. I should fetch the last shitty land out of my deck. Fatal Push. Kill one of these constructs. Gotta get this started somewhere. And I'm gonna draw one card with Necro. Another Delver. Yeah, you did not draw cards with the ring. I can bounce Vexing Bobble and Force of Will with Brazen Borrower if that's like a sequence that becomes necessary. Oh no, there's mana in the pool. Lots of it. Ten. Oh no. What giant Cursed Eldrazi is in this deck? Is this Walking Ballista? What do we got? I'm ready to concede to whatever it is. Oh god, Kozilek's Command. Target player creates X-01 Eldrazi. Target player scries X and draws a card. Exile up to X card creatures with mana value X or less. Exile up to X target cards from graveyards. What? Okay, so he exiled my Orcish Bowmaster and my graveyard. Okay, understood. Do not reward in Catacombs. All right, I'm going to play Exsanguinator and Delver. I still have this master plan to win somehow with one big attack. His ring is unlocked now. But his ring's got a lot of work to do to catch up to the number of cards I've drawn off Necro. And he didn't tap it anyway. Still chilling over there. He certainly went a lot harder on the play all the new cards brief than I did. Kozilek command, you psycho. Dark Ritual, let's go. The Delvers are alive. Okay. What would it take to have a lethal attack? Because I can bounce in Staring Bridge, play Brazen Borrower. That is nine in the air. He goes to six. And then I have. Three creatures with Menace can only block one of them. All right, so I actually have Lethal here. I get one card off of Necro this turn. It's going to be Dark Ritual, so I'm going to get two cards off of Necro because I know I can discard the Dark Ritual and won't miss it. 
Okay, still hasn't drawn any cards with the ring. Living in fear. And I can hard cast these forces in my hand. Mox Opal, got him! He was just dumping that out anyway to keep the, the situation. All right, uh, Petty Theft, Bounce and Snaring Bridge, Play Brazen Borrower. Okay, I got Force of Will up and can't block these ones. And then double block this one. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, wait, no. We're not good. <laughs> I blew it. You're at two, not zero. Those are different numbers. What have I done? Okay, I gained some life here. I can put out some blockers. I get a lot of blood tokens. Yeah, I miscounted that. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay. Yeah, I, sh I just had to play Exsanguinator Cavalry, another one, and pass the turn. God damn it. This is totally my fault. Nobody, nobody to look at but me in this situation. Okay, I can pass the turn. I think I can pay one here. All right, I paid one. I'm at 10. Yeah, I just had to wait a turn, play out this creature, and then it's lethal. <laughs> so stupid. Or leave back Orc Army, which wasn't functionally attacking anyway as a blocker. Insane spew. Yeah, sometimes you just count to four and your brain says, yep, six. It's all right. I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to stop talking about this. Grim Monolith. That's nine. Do you draw another artifact? If he drew exactly two artifacts off the ring, he has an exactly lethal attack. Right, untapped Grim Monolith. Please dump something big and stupid into Spell Pierce. Play another Kozilek's command for every piece of mana you have. If he untaps the one ring, uh, if he had untapped one ring with both of these keys, there's probably an artifact in there somewhere, and the construct would have been big enough to kill me. Oh, wait, no, I have lifelink. It's fine. Nope, not true. Okay, fresh ring. Reset. So if he, he tapped Manifold Key before Voltaic Key, Manifold Key could have made one of these unblockable. All right, well, I'm required to block, or else I lose. And he's got so much mana that the Spell Pierce is not remotely useful. Yeah, that was my one shot to win this game, and I just miscounted and blew it. I don't think I can win anymore. End step, Blood Token. Discard this Spell Pierce. Oh, Bowmaster. Maybe I can win. Oh, right, I do have Reach in my deck. I can poke them with the Bowmasters that, are, that still exist. Never mind, we're back to life. Okay, um, I guess what I have to do here is pay one off Necro. Or do I pay two, just go to one? Yeah, I'm going to go to one. Let's do it. Hey, I win. <laughs> oh, no, they have protection. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Doing my best to just throw that. Okay. The ring, I think if I Bowmaster now, that's the best time to do it, because I can respond to a ring activation with the other Bowmaster. And if this Bowmaster resolves, it's too late for him to do anything about it. Okay, so let that resolve. What a roller coaster. We're in here. I think we both messed up this game. I think he had Lethal last turn if he could make a construct unblockable with Manifold Key, and I had Lethal the turn after if I just counted to six instead of four. But we're in here. Necro Dominance drew a lot of cards this game. Incredible match. Played terribly, but incredible match. Null Rod, Filigree Silex, definitely. Thrust Down, definitely. This could be an energy field matchup. Oh, it is. No, it is for sure. I like Shouldred. She can win without combat. Force of Negation, Brazen Borrower. I don't think I care about Cage, Voidwalker, or Engineer. Spell Pierce falls off very quickly. Daze falls off very quickly. Fatal Push, not irrelevant, but also not very good. March of Wretched Sorrow can hit Planeswalkers. I think I like that better than Fatal Push. And I can back off one of the Dark Rituals. Okay, new life. I thought for sure we'd be going into game two down a game. But instead, the heroes prevail. Okay, I like the force that's available. I like that I have a threat. It's slow, but it's okay. The cantrips are good. I'm in. I'm keeping the hand. Urza's Workshop. Lava Spur Boots. Aggro Mode. Activated. Dress Down. Let's go. Happy to have that one in the bank. Ponder. Filigree Silex. Delver. I like all of these. Every single one. Urza's Saga. You got it. 
Not Metalcraft for the Ursus Workshop yet. Lotus Petal. Get in there. Alright, now you have Metalcraft. This is five mana. Ooh, the Flesh Raker. I'm not ready for that one. Can't counter that. This thing is going to bury me. That was really bad for them to have. Okay, down to one card in hand, though. That's the only relief left. But yeah, the, the Flesh Raker has haste and ward. Here it comes. All right, well, I don't like Force Negation as much anymore. I'm going to Brainstorm. At land number three, I do like... I guess I'll keep the, the Force around. Or should I reveal Brainstorm? If I put back Cavalry and Brainstorm, then Delver will flip, and he doesn't know I have Force. All right, just got to outmuscle this thing. Uh, this is a lot of damage. Well, incidental damage, but... The big payoffs, the Mystic Forge kind of stuff, is not going to resolve. I have Urza Saga covered in a variety of ways. Main phasing that, which creates another homie. Or no, it deals one to me. It doesn't create a homie. It just deals one to me straight up. Okay. Oh, a Dismember. That's fine. That's not the game I'm really fighting over here. I'm drawing Brainstorm. There's an Exsanguinator Cavalry on top of the deck. I can't afford to play the cavalry that I have. I have to dress down this turn. Okay, do I want this cavalry? I, I'm going to dress down here. I could surveil first. I think I do want cavalry. Dress down, draw cavalry, then fetch surveil to play around Pithing Needle. Alrighty. Cavalry's in my hand. Fetch. Surveil. Merktide Regent. I will put that on top. Do I want that? Or do I just want the lifelink creatures? No, I'm actually going to get rid of Murktide. Fuck Murktide. If I can't win with Exsanguinator Cavalry, I don't deserve to win. Vexing Bauble. Yep, that card's good. I still take three from combat. Orcish Bowmaster. I think I want to Exsanguinate. I could Brainstorm and see what that gives me. It gives me a land, because I, I can't do anything with these forces as long as Vexing Bauble's in play. I do play Wasteland. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these Force Negations. They're just not helpful. And Fetch. I would like something on board when I start clearing out their creatures. And I'd like to Exsanguinate the Countryside, if I could, please. And I still have a Force in case he panics and pops the Bobble to draw a card. Uh-oh. The Salt Monolith. Okay. Yeah, that's a bunch of mana. And a damage to me. Oh no, there's more. Mystic Forge. Uh-oh, here it is. If I just get smoked from five, this is how it happens. I exiled the top card. Got rid of a Karn. Happy to see that go. He's going for velocity rather than stability. And every card cast off the top costs one mana less. Like, this Lotus Petal is going to be countered by Vexing Bobble, but it does deal one to me and generate a uh, mana. Yeah, this is the engine. This is what we were talking about on the podcast. Eternal Glory podcast, by the way. Check out our Modern Horizons 3 preview episode. Okay, whiffed. I don't think he attacks here, because I would trade so fast with this thing. Yeah, didn't think so. Wasteland. Is that useful at this point? I could attack with Cavalry. Oh, if I Silex, Cavalry connects for sure. It also kills Mox Opal. I don't know if that's useful. All right, I'm going to play the Silex. Actually, I think I blew it. Uh, I think I was supposed to brainstorm for an answer to the Flesh Raker. Yeah, I'm still going to do that. That was... I, I should have done the brainstorm first. All right. Yeah, that's a sick line. Sacking those for mana to untap the Basalt Monolith. Okay, I'm going to brainstorm here. March of Wretched Sorrow. That works. If I put back the two Force of Wills, because they don't work. Put back the Forces. Wasteland. March. Exile. Necrodominance. Cast. X is 2, and I have 1 up to pay the ward. Yeah, I definitely should have brainstormed first, but this does appear to like it's going to work out okay. At least relatively okay. Still has Mystic Forge in play. Alright, we start turning it around now. It's got a lot of mana and Mystic Forge, one of the most busted artifact engines in history. Restricted in Vintage. Exiled Planar Nexus. That's the land. Alright, found a spell. Don't carn me, bro. Oh, found a big spell. Untap Assault Monolith. Paradox Engine. Oh no, here comes the whole deck. 
It becomes trivial to cast your whole deck from here. Oh, he whiffed. He whiffed. It's the only chance I have. Force of Will is operational at this point. I'm not sure if it matters. Yeah, both of the top cards in my deck are Force of Will. If I attack, if I play Exsanguinator Cavalry and attack, I deal three, then I have a 5-5 five, five in play. I have exactly lethal if nothing happens. If I Exsanguinate Cavalry first, I don't think holding up Force of Will is even good. Yeah, I'm going to play Exsanguinator and represent Bowmaster, and this is this is what I can do here. If he sacks his Vexing Bobble at any point, I can blood away Bowmaster into Force, but with the Paradox Engine in play, it just doesn't matter. I need him to hit like three lands in a row. Mystic Exiled Mystic Forge going down to eight. Saga, okay. I can destroy that. Oh, we're untapping Forge. That's good for me. Also, I guess the life total has to hold up. Exiled Ancient Tomb. If he bricks here, we've done it. Or he could still sack Vexing Bobble to keep looking. Manifold Key, all right. Just off to the races here. But anytime there's a land on top, he has to tap Mystic Forge and only has seven life. All right, yeah. Forge, Exiled Planar Nexus. I'm tapping Grim Monolith with Key, just getting shitloads of mana ready. All right, there's definitely a spell on top. A very good one. Okay, yep, here's Karn. Vexing Bobble has been so good this match. Probably shouldn't surprise anyone, but insanely powerful. If there is a Lattice in the sideboard, he can get it here and cast it and untap all his permanents while he does it. That doesn't deal with my creatures that are in play. He has to keep going after that. Got the Ensnaring Bridge. We know we can beat an Ensnaring Bridge. Just exile an Inventor's Fair off Mystic Forge. Five life left. He untap Mystic Forge again. Down to four life. Exile to Dismember. This is how we win. Like, he's got to whiff a lot of cards in a row. Here's the Ensnaring Bridge, which resets everything. Made a bunch of mana and cast the One Ring. Okay. This could draw most of your deck. I guess I'll just cast Bowmaster here to have the biggest Orc army possible. Ping you. Okay, now my Orc can ping my Orc army if it has to. All right, I can F6. What a relief. Went to my turn. Force of Will versus Urza Saga. Yeah, Force of Will doesn't matter. I am going to wasteland this Urza Saga and pass the turn. I guess I just lose to Karn now. Is that true? Oh yeah, you have plenty of mana. Andrew Urza's workshop for turn. Yeah, just show me the lattice and I'll pack. Maybe I had to hold up Force there and just deal with the Saga. Yeah, I blew it. As usual. I've been saying that a lot today. It's okay. All right, now I'm on the play. Raftigger's Cage. This probably should have been here the whole time. Can't cast spells from libraries. Yeah, that counts as useful. I'm on the play. Do I want to try to push with the Dark Rituals? I've been boarding them out. Maybe I'm just playing the deck too slowly. What would I cut if that's the case? Probably be a Lorien and a Murktide. Sure. And Spell Pierce is probably good on the play too. I don't know. This is really complicated. Yuck. Um, I will keep this. Double Wasteland could mess up his development. Just start it with a Ponder, as we do. Force of Will, another Ponder, and another Colored Mana. Deal. Inventor's Fair, Voltaic Key. I could just Wasteland. I could Brainstorm. I could Ponder. I could Ponder and then still Wasteland. I'm going to Ponder. The Silex, I like, knowing that it's there. Okay, I'm going to draw Silex and just Wasteland. I have another Wasteland, which makes me comfortable about being aggressive and not just losing to Ursus Saga. But if I know Phil, he's really good at drawing four Ursus Sagas in his top 13 cards, so maybe I should have held that Wasteland. Petal. Opal. Here they come. I'm going to Force of Will this. I'm not prepared to ex answer it any other way, and we've seen the Bobble come out. Another Wasteland. Hit that. And I will ponder now. I know Verdant Catacombs is on top. Bowmaster Brainstorm. Sounds good. Okay, I'm out of interaction, but I can blow up Mox Opal with Silex next turn. Yeah, this is just two mana. Do I want to start charging Silex? I don't think so. Top card is Brainstorm. Yeah, I don't really care about Brainstorm. 
I'm going to get Underground C and just jam this Bowmaster and start applying pressure. Lands are good draws. If I miss on that, I can play Silex. Sick. I'm going to Exsanguinate, get the life gain going, and then next turn have Necro Dominance just load me. I drew a spell. Grim Monolith. Uh, that suddenly unlocks a lot of stuff. That's 5-6 mana from 2. Paradox Engine. Uh oh, am I dead? Not quite, it seems. But that's closer than I'd ever want it to be. I'm going to attack with my creatures and then play Necro. And I think I'm going to pay 10 here. I just want to have Force Blue card available. I know I have to discard like all of these. All right, clean up, discard, Delver, Fetch Land, Shock Land, Backup Necro, Silex I like, Underground Sea I don't need. I don't think I need another Cavalry. I got to lose one more. I guess it's the other Delver. Or no, the, I think I should lose Bowmaster here. Yeah. All right, keep Force Blue card up. Backup Blue card. That way I can Necro into a Force easier and don't have to worry about finding the Blue card also. There's three cards in hand over there. I have to counter things like the One Ring or Karn. Interesting. I don't think I have to counter this. You can have that. Oh, I can't counter that anyway. Good thing I didn't need to. Mystic Forge, all right. I will be countering this. Counter the Forge. Hope that last card in hand isn't a banger. All right, one card left, Bill. Can you beat me with that card? Oh, no, he's still tapping mana. Stop! No! Stop! Karn the Great Creator with six mana left, or way more than six mana left. Okay, I mean, let's see what we got here. I can continue to attack through a Lattice. Of course he would have three bangers in hand, three cards in hand. Every single one of them is a castable game ender. Sure. Good job, Phil. One of those cards couldn't be like Mox Opal. All right, got Ensnaring Bridge. All right, we're settling back into stupid mode. Don't have a lot of life to work with anymore. Filigree Silex doesn't work. Karn can close it out next turn. Can't use my blood token. Don't get a draw step. All right, Wasteland still works. I don't know if that's helpful. But it does work. Okay, so I go to my end step and draw three cards. Four cards. Three. And these ones have to hit. So I think I'm going to go four. Bowmaster. Does playing Bowmaster do anything here? I can deal one to Karn. Graftinger's Cage sucks. All right, I'll discard Filigree Silex. Yeah, he just has to cast two spells and I lose. And we know he can get one off Karn. But if he wishes for Lattice, Bowmaster kills Karn. Oh, but I'm dead before that. Yep, that Mox Opal. I spoke it into existence. I said, can't you have a Mox Opal in your hand instead of a Game Ender? And now he can cast Lattice, or literally anything, and I just die. And it doesn't matter that Karn is dead. Yeah, if I had stopped it, if I had drawn three cards, but like if I was looking for an answer to Karn or Fleshraker, where more more looks at edict or removal spell versus hitting bowmaster and stopping. I'm gonna get a moral victory here. Kill the Karn and then die. All right, yeah. If I had just drawn three cards instead of four, or at least in, even calling this stable is really aggressive. Oh wait, I had another draw. Three draw. Dress down. I wouldn't have got there, so I could have killed Karn. Sacked my blood token. Dress down was too far behind. Okay. Sweet match. Came down to Phil having three game enters in his three card hand. Welcome to topdeck.gg, your community's home for everything competitive magic has to offer. If you're hosting an event, playing for a huge prize, or advertising your events to thousands of players, we've got you covered. Using intuitive pairing software, playing magic is a breeze. Players just have to sign up online, then scan the QR code in-store. Give competitors the gift of perfect information as their bracket updates in real time. The self-reporting software saves you time and leaves paper match slips in the past. Leave the heavy lifting to topdeck.gg so your community can relax and focus on playing Magic. I'm on the play in round three. Phil has probably switched decks here, but I like turn one and Sanguinator with Force Backup. We keep these. First time Dark Ritual gets to flex. I'm not sure if this even needs to be a Dark Ritual deck, or maybe it should be more of a Dark Ritual deck. Do I want all four rituals and maybe even one Cabal Ritual to really leverage that? 
My answer is probably not, but it's worth thinking about. Dark Ritual. Exsanguinator Cavalry. We're in there. A Bayou. Chrome Mox. I wonder if this is Nick fit with the, the green flare. Pitch to Thoughtseize. Stalactite Stalker. Okay, we're scamming. Two Stalactite Stalkers. All right, the race is on. Luckily, did not descend that turn or else my Exsanguinator would have been outclassed already. Attack. All right, now my creature is large. I think I want to brainstorm here. I would like to change my hand a lot. Oh, shit. Well, get wrecked me. Uh, put back Ponder and Brainstorm. And uh, my opponent now knows I am dead to a Wasteland. That was unfortunate because I did find the Fatal Push, which is what I was looking for. He's got a Bowmaster. I am going to daze this, which protects my land, but unfortunately does descend because a uh, permanent went somewhere from somewhere. And he does want to keep racing the Exsanguinator. Could have held those back and blocked, like traded them off. And that would have been a blowout to any removal spell, which I do have. Attack. Would I rather get on board or have removal? I think I'd rather have removal. I'm just going to kill a Slactite Stalker right now. Let this cavalry carry the day with Force of Will at its back. The mighty wind at its back. Ancient Tomb. Are we an initiative deck? What's going on over there? All right, I'm down to 20. You got me. Reanimate Orcish Bowmaster. All right, we're scamming. I don't really want that to happen. I'm going to pitch Ponder to Force of Will. That is two blockers for my cavalry, who is my whole business right now. All right. Got it anyway. You have not descended this turn, though. My creature's still enormous. Attack for four. One card left in hand over there. This is going to be a low resource, scrappy little. Crappy little battle. Delver of Secrets is in. Okay, what's your last card? And it doesn't beat my 5-6 lifelink. I think if you can kill this cavalry, I'm in a lot of trouble. Right, Bowmaster kills Delver. Makes my hand very awkward and bad. But I still have the biggest creature by a lot. And his life total is dwindling. This is the last turn he can block with everything to clear my cavalry. If it gets in one more time, it'll be too big for that. It's a lot to lose for one card, but also it's the only card I have. And you're not winning a race against it. It's a five power lifelinker. If you can't kill this thing, you might really have to be considering just losing all your permanents to trade with it. Yeah, okay. That is the vibe. I will offer the trade, obviously, because my hand is just draw spells. Okay, you get to keep your orc army. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here we go. Kill all those things. Sucks I didn't have another mana source. I could have just won this combat horribly. Ponder, find me a land. It did find me a land. It had more ponders and brainstorms. All right, I'm not going to shuffle away a wasteland, though. I'll take it. In for two. Stalactite Stalker, you have not descended. Right? Okay, that's good. I'm going to blood away brainstorm because my top of my deck is just all cantrips anyway. And I need to get through them. And getting a good trade on this Bowmaster is very good in this spot. Take out this Stalker. Oh, they could sack it and kill my Bowmaster, but it costs you two life. That's fine. Gotta do what we gotta do here. That was never getting better. Okay. Basically countered each other's plays for that turn cycle. I'm at 23, you're at 7. Ooh, Cavalry. Okay. I'm gonna ponder... And hope he has not drawn a Bowmaster. He did not, but I did. Okay, how do I want to play this? If I go Bowmaster, C, Sewers, don't shuffle. Sewers, dump the Underground, C. And then I draw Bowmaster next turn and don't have to work through that at all. I could even blood away the Brainstorm, but I think I want to keep Brainstorm at this point. Haywire might. Okay. Yeah, you can eat my blood tokens. All right. Uh. I want to Exsanguinate. It's cool that I have options. He's been holding back a card in hand. It could be a land, could be a removal spell. Just thinking about what could be in that hand that wasn't cast already. Versus Saga. All right. Glad I held the Wasteland this long. All right, we got Sicko Mode activated here. Ooh, even drew Fatal Push. I'm going to attack and play Bowmaster. Kill the Haywire Might. 
I could have killed Haywire Might before combat to actually connect rather than get a combat blowout. I wonder if getting that point on my... Because if his last card in hand is Bowmaster, I just played into a giant blowout. Yeah, if I Bowmaster pre-combat, I guess it ends up the same. He is eating my blood token. That's fine. Might as well. It's there. Take it. That stops me from getting an orc army. I do win the combat. And I'm going to wasteland now because we have seen things with descend. Okay, I'm back. I head on board. And we're doing stuff. He just passed the turn. Keep drawing bowmasters. The great equalizer. My knight's bigger. Me playing bowmaster here puts lethal on board. So I will do it. Relentless. Bowmastering. Nice. All right. Yeah, that turn one Exsanguinator Cavalry just carried for a very long time. All right. Nile Spellbomb, Grafdigger's Cage, Shieldred, Dothy Voidwalker. Is this an energy field matchup? I think it might be. Or no, we've seen Haywire Mike. God, what a cop. All right. It's not an energy field matchup. Force Negation's out. Brazen Borrower, I think I like. Plague Engineer can name Orc or whatever Stalactite Stalker is. I'll Google it if it matters. But I don't think this match is about speed as much as it's about stability. I don't really like Force of Will versus Scam Strategies if I don't need to. I'd rather play to the board. It does leave room for one more thing here. Flusterstorm works against Reanimate. Rest Down can hit various nonsense. Could bring in the Silex just as another removal spell. Yeah, I think I'm going to Silex here. Oh, wait, we saw her as a saga. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Days, you're out. All right. <laughs> that Urza Saga came up so late and happened so quick that I almost forgot to bring a dress down for it. Okay. I cut a Days last minute to get that in. I think I like this hand for the matchup. All right, he kept six on the play. I kept seven on the draw. He's got the Dark Ritual start this time. Nether Goyf. Okay. Stalactite Stalker. Stalactite Stalker. Wow, that's a start. Okay, I don't think I'm catching up to that. Voidwalker, right on time. Uh, I have Filigree Silex in my deck that can sweep this up. Just thinking about what my options are. That was a very good start, though. Good thing Needle, no thanks. I'll fetch in response. Letter City Sewers. Hey, there's the one of. He has played against this deck with other decks. If he remembers the Filigree Silex. All right, Wasteland, good call. Alrighty, he had the chance there to, to fend this off. But instead, I'm a sicko. And I just surveilled into my one of. Underground Sea, Filigree Silex. I tap to put an oil counter on this and destroy each non land mana value equal to the oil. All right, oil this up. There's no bluffing what I'm planning to do with that. And I even have the Void Walker that can make sure Nether Goyf doesn't come back after the bomb, unless it's mine. Okay, I'm at six. Wow, wow. We might stabilize this. I can't wasteland. Oh, wait, I can't wasteland. Dothy <laughs> Voidwalker. I guess this is just going to die. Oh, yeah, this was bad. All right, destroy all your shit. Oh, he didn't activate. Didn't activate, didn't activate. Okay, he could have killed Voidwalker there. Uh, I'm glad that didn't happen. I should have ignored Nethergoyf and just bombed first, then played Voidwalker to make sure I had a clock, but. He did not activate, so we're okay. Another Stalker. That's going to die. Okay, I'm going to leave this fetch land in play. I am going to take out the Stalker before it can do stuff. Park a Wasteland in play. Start the beats. All right. Sometimes you just got to draw the one sweeper in your entire deck, and you can catch up to a start like that. That also shows the weakness of starts like that in general. And obviously, my deck had like one out to that, but decks in general in Legacy do play answers to stuff. Attack. I'm going to play Cavalry and Pass. If I start gaining life, I don't think I can lose this. Ancient Tomb and the last Stalker. The final sad Stalker. This one can sack to kill stuff, though. I have to be a little judicious about where to point my all four of my Bowmasters. <laughs> LMAO. Okay, so there's the block. I'm going to wait for him to activate... I didn't activate. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right, because it does more damage. All right, yeah, yeah, sure. It does more damage to tap Ancient Tomb than you would have saved in combat. 
Wow, what a recovery. The Bosch and Roll channel is proudly partnered with the Resleevables. Hmm, good. All right, here we go, gang. In this YouTube series, hosts Cedric Phillips and Patrick Sullivan take us on a set-by-set -set journey through the good, the bad, and the ugly of Magic's history. Each episode is a focused deep dive into the facts about a set's design and release. The magic lore expressed through the cards in that set. Tournament edition gameplay videos featuring products and Pro Tour decks of the era. An award show that shouts out the best and weirdest cards of the set. And a final grade for the set's overall success. Whether you want a history lesson or a nostalgia hit, The Resleevables has it at youtube.com slash The Resleevables. It's round four. I think this is the last one we're going to do. And I'm going to have to mulligan. I'm on the play. No mana to cast spells. All right, here we go. Little Delver Day start. I could bottom Dark Ritual or Force of Negation. I'm going to bottom the Ritual. Or I said Ritual and I clicked on Force of Negation. I meant Force of Negation. That is the one I meant to bottom. I think with days in the hand, this burst of mana to get Bowmaster out could be sweet. Bill has switched decks again, so I don't know what he's up to. Of course it has Urza Saga in it. Lava of Spur Boots. I don't think that's where I point days is. Sanguinator Cavalry right on the tippity top. Just how we drew it up. That sequencing was kind of backwards. I didn't want to risk pondering for a land. I mean, that's obviously the best case scenario if I hit my land drop there and then Dark Ritual out the Cavalry. He's got the Ancient Tomb. Now I get a bunch of looks at Wasteland. Reason Borrower doesn't help here. I ponder for Wasteland. Come on, Wasteland. Give me the Wasteland. Force of Will 2, Necros. Uh, shuffle that. Wasteland. Disappointing. Okay, uh, we might just get completely smushed by Saga Gaming here. The classic Urza Saga Ancient Tomb. GG. Cast no spells. Game plan. My cavalry having Menace and Lifelink, though, is a lot to like, and Delver will get flying eventually. We'll see if he's got a Shadow Spear in here to help flip the race. I also have no idea what this deck is. I hope it doesn't have either Spell Bomb in it. Vexing Bobble, okay, well, Daze is dead. Long live Daze. Bobble as a tutorable Defense Grid slash Chalice on zero is certainly a powerful interaction that now exists in the format. I will not be blocking here because I'm not a coward. I mostly just need to draw a land, because the land gives me Brazen Borrower that can answer one of the constructs straight up, or Bowmaster Bowmaster, which gives me four chump blockers. In for nine. Delver, what do we got? Days, you asshole. Alright, I'm drawing this Days, and I'm immediately looting it away to this blood token. Fatal Push. I mean, that card's good. Alright, so we've got five, nine, 14, 15, 16 damage coming next turn means I can't attack with Delver, because if he has a mana source of any kind, I just lose the Lava Spur Boots. But if he attacks for less than lethal here, I'm not going to block, because then Delver can push back. And I do have a removal spell now, which I didn't have last turn. Eldrazi Temple revealed. Okay, so I was right to play around the mana source. What's coming out of this Eldrazi Temple? He is casting an Eldrazi. Kozlex Command. Uh, damn. Can't daze it. That's really good. And this is an Eldrazi because it is a kindred instant. Fucked up. Alright, yeah. Tough beats. Sometimes you just don't draw a land. In four turns, with a ponder. He's not done yet, still casting spells. Chalice on one? Okay. Joke's on you. I was dead anyway. Alright, not gonna block. And there's the land. I think it's too late to matter. Yeah, at four life, I can only make two blockers, and it'll have three lethal attackers. I guess I'll play it out. Make him do it. Attack you to five. This Ancient Tomb puts him to three. Bowmaster ping you to one, or two. There's still enough here to survive, but if he backs off at all, I can win with the double Bowmaster. Expedition map, I don't care about. And he can get Wasteland, which is probably really bad. I'm just glad that wasn't a Shadow Spear. Am I going to get my reality smashed? 
Haven't seen that one in a while, but it would be really good here. Another command. Stop. Okay, I don't think I can ever win anymore. Okay, so it's ping face. Chump chump is the line. And the saga has run its course and is gone. So ping face chump chump is the line again next turn. I don't know what my end game is. I guess if I just draw all four Bowmasters in a row. Watery Grave is going to come into play. Tap a rune. Can't afford to shock that in. Yeah, this Chalice, just good enough. The Bobble, just good enough. Yeah, this is, I mean, we're seeing the Prison deck unfold here, but Vexing Bobble turning off days right before an important Dazable spell hit the stack. Chalice came down the turn I drew, Fatal Push, and just one less creature here, and I can afford to ignore an attack and win the race. But we are going to end up just a little short. Dress Down and Filigree Silex are not in the main deck. Oh, or Tron also. Great. And this does immediately tap for two because this is a power plant mine and everything. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's sick. Planar Nexus just turning on every Tron land. Okay. I don't care what you're getting with Karn. All right, Filigree Silex, Dress Down. I knew I was playing a set of matches against Phil today. I probably should have just main decked all of these. He's like, I got 10 different decks. Yeah, you, you have one different deck. It's all this. Energy field, I'm doing it. For the hard lock. Children is just big. Plague Engineer on Eldrazi is not nothing. He has a bunch of ways to make those little shitters. A Force of Negation, Daze, Out. Dark Ritual is just so bad in, as a top deck. Uh, Spell Pierce can probably go. Spell Pierce on Kozilek's command is sick, though. All right, I got one Dark Ritual still in here, for good measure. A one lander, sweet. Uh, it has Lurian Revealed, though. Oh, no. All right, fine. I'll keep it. Underground Sea, pass. Hers is mine. I do have to be aware of the Eldrazi Elemental Blast. Oh, sick. Or I could just ram a shoulder down his throat. Who's the Stompy deck now? I think the Eldrazi Elemental Blast cal counters multicolored spells, not single colored spells. All right, glad I left in that one dark ritual. Give it the proper respect. All right, we've got Tron. Chalice on one, that's fine. Doesn't affect my hand, doesn't stop shoulder from getting in. Deck for four. I cannot cast Merc Tide here, I'm one short, and I would rather hold up Force of Will anyway. Eldrazi Temple. This is five mana for Eldrazi. Thought not Seer. Yeah, I'll just counter that. Whatever. Keep the pressure going. End step. Get the Surveil land. Wasteland. Snap it off. Bowmaster. Ping you. I'm going to waste this Planar Nexus. Wasteland. Planar Nexus. I am going to Bowmaster in combat. I think the extra damage is going to matter here. Not really a card draw deck. It is a cares about its life total deck. All right, you're one. Go. Draw for turn. Go to one. Sweet. All right, turn two, Shouldred. Turns out that card's pretty good. That one Dark Ritual worked out perfectly. You just have it on turn two exactly when you want it, and then you never draw another one. Why don't ever? Why doesn't everyone build their deck like that? Okay, I think this deck is still the deck that I'm going to submit, and I'm going in. This hand is slow and steady, but it has Force of Will. I'll try it. I'm not really going to like... Chalice of the Void out of this hand if he's got it. Vexing Bobble, fine. The force is blank now. Good start. Ponder. Wasteland Murktide. Alright, I like those. Take the Wasteland. He does have Tower, so he has 4 mana on turn 2 if he has the Prismatic Zone. Planar Nexus. Yeah, the Prismatic Zone. Turn 2 Thought Not Seer. Easy game. A Lava Spur Boots. That's not a Thought Not Seer. I'll take it. Chalice on one, that's fine. I cast the one drop that I had. All right, that could have been so much worse. I actually want to Wasteland Urza's Tower here. I'm just worried about the second Planar Nexus, just turning that back on. Urza's Saga, yep. A lot of things to Wasteland in this deck. Another Chalice on one. I'm blue-black, I can't remove artifacts. Undercity Sewers, get this happening. Delver into the graveyard, that's a one drop. I have Ugin. That's a name I've not heard in a long time. This configuration does not make construct tokens, though. I have Ugin does not tap for mana. 
a small reprieve that I will welcomely accept. Boring revealed. I'm probably just going to cast that card eventually. Oh, I can Murktide here. Yeah, I'll do that. Just put a 4-4 into play. Before the Graveyard Hate comes down. He's at Dismember in every deck he's registered so far in our sets today. It's also a 7-drop. Good luck. Kozilek's commanding that. And the Bug Mother's coming down next turn. That Wasteland was so big. This Urza Saga not make, getting any Constructs is just the best possible for me. He might be debating right now if he has to pop Vexing Bobble to draw a card, which hasn't happened yet. Every time he's put it into play, which is a lot, he's just had it in play when the game ended. Those Lux Command, making Eldrazi and target player Scry's X and draws a card. All right. Yep. Makes sense. The Eldrazi can activate the Construct. He top bottomed the Scry. He did not sack the Eldrazi to make a Construct. Has other plans here. Killing Needle. I'm out of Wastelands at the moment. Uh-oh. The tower's back on. All is dust. Sick. Yep, can't force that. But I do get to resolve Shouldred here. Matter Reshaper, and he is all in. Alright, the Great Bug Mother. Carry me from 20. Hers is mine. Alright, this is 3, 4, 5, 6. Can almost activate Ayavugan. Exsanguinator, okay. I was going to lure in Revealed, but now I'm going to Exsanguinate. Let's add these power and toughness to the board. I don't want to attack into Matter Reshaper. Giving him card advantage now just doesn't seem worth doing. He's trying to activate Eye of Ugin. You don't have enough. Oh, you do have a one. You have the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. You know your deck better than me. Man, getting used to Eldrazi spawns or Eldrazi science just being in play in Legacy is going to be so wild. Tutor up a Thought Not Seer. And Lauren Revealed and March of Wretched Sorrow are both good cards in my hand, but you definitely take March of Wretched Sorrow with this Thought Not. Oh. Or you just top deck card. Cool. Super dead. Can't cast Lattice this turn, though. And March can kill Karn. I believe I said that out loud at least once in one of our games. Oh, Thought Not Seer. Oh, right, because Ayavugan reduces it. Yeah, Eldrazi muscles are rusty here. Karn's going to stick. Karn's going to do his thing. I can hard cast Force of Will, though. So I do have two answers to Karn in hand. Or answers to Lattice in hand. Left me with my March of Wretched Sorrow. Water of Grave coming in tapped. Wasteland that doesn't work. Here's Polluted Delta. I can kill Thought Not Seer and then put a bunch of damage on Karn. I think that's reasonable. Fetch Underground Sea. Wretched Sorrow. One, two, three, four, five, six. With Chalice in play, I don't think I need to leave up mana at all. Attack Karn, attack Karn. I want to make sure Karn takes at least some damage. The Matter Reshaper gets an easy block here. I'm at 28 life. It says Menace Phil. You should know that. You of all people. All right. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Right, Karn's dead. I don't get a Blood Token or a Grow Bigger on that exchange. Walking Ballista is pretty large here. There's seven mana, so it can be a 3-3. Three, three. And I can't Force of Will it right now. I am untapping into Force of Will next turn. All right, attacking for three. Get your points. Wow, just passed. All right, he's going up the Eye of Ugin then, if that's what's going on here. Oh, the Exsanguinator Cavalry number two is so tempting, but I cannot do it here. I have to hold up Force of Will. And it's a two-turn clock anyway, so that doesn't actually matter. All right, I actually feel good about that. And... I'm going to blood away Bloodstained Mire. Labor win. I gain two life. Oh, Necro plus Shouldred is, is an interaction. I don't think it's a good one, though. Not with Vexing Bobble in play. But right, I'll drop out this Wasteland and pass. Sorry, Necro. If there wasn't an active Eye of Ugin on the board, I would uh, be more into you. Tutoring Ulamog. Uh, yep. That's going to exile my creatures. But I can counter the Ulamog. Yeah, there's that. I will counter it. The exile still happens. And then this turn, I go Necro plus Exsanguinator and try to outmuscle an Eye of Ugin. Necro. I'm at 30 life. The plan's working. Necro, Exsanguinator. I'm going to pay 10. I'll just go back to my starting life total. Make sure I have something to do. A Dark Ritual doesn't work. A lot of this stuff doesn't work. That makes it easy to clean up. Backup Necro, Fatal Push, Spell Pierce, Dark Ritual, Land, 
Delver. Right, those are gone. Didn't find any of my Brazen Borrowers or that sort of stuff that I would have really liked there. The Filigree Silex knocking out the Chalices, unlocking all my cards. This is going to be a tight one, but Necrodominance is the, exactly doing its job here. Walking Ballista, going to four to do it. Can still equip this with Lava Spur Boots, chose not to. Unless the one card in his hand is Dismember, I think not equipping Boots there is probably a huge spew. But I guess you can't afford to not. Okay, the old second main equip my haste boots. That might have been a might as well, or might have been might have been a not planning on attacking with that anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna bowmaster and target matter reshaper. And then I'm gonna plague engineer Eldrazi. I'm doing it in this order. So the matter reshaper definitely dies. Seems so anemic, but I think it's correct. Right, Matter Reshaper flips in Urza's Power Plant that comes straight into play. Yeah, that's Tron. Had Tron the whole time, but that's definitely still Tron. And I have this Menace creature that Ballista can ping, but I might as well make them do it. Yeah, this Ballista is going to body me. But I do get to finish it off with the other Bowmaster. That's really good. If I had pinged the Ballista... Oh no, Ward! I have to go face. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Ward one, ward one, ward one. At least that didn't get countered. <laughs> Shit. That was bad, though. All right, Necro Dominance. Hook it up. Get me another round. There's no lands left in my deck to fetch. Okay, so Ballista can go plus three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana available. If he can generate one mana, Ballista could go plus three. I'm drawing eight. Dress down. Our Edict is good. Clean up. Lose. Delver. Land. Brainstorm. Just pitch all these one drops. Okay. My hand does have a bunch of interaction in it now. I can't force a will this turn. So seven. One, two, three, four, five. He could tutor and play a five drop Eldrazi. But tapping Ancient Tomb puts him to one. Oh no, I'm just going to get Lattice right now. Oh wait, I still have combat. It's okay. I can bash through a Lattice. Ensnaring Bridge, I have that covered. Oh no, an Eldrazi spell. No! I'm Phil, why? Ugh, Phil. You pile of crap. Taking my Brazen Borrower, the, the card that I needed here. Of course, he has two cards in his hand, and they're literally perfect. Uh, this was my fault, though. If I just did not spew off that Bowmaster that didn't have any text, then I would have been able to dress down that Thought Not Seer, and then I win easily. Yeah, Ward 1. Remember that. All right, sacrifice a creature. I have Force of Will up now. All right, I'm getting to draw a card. I like that. I don't like that it was that card. Can't cast Ponder here. Dress down's fine. Someday. Okay, Necro is going to draw me three cards. Four cards? Four cards. Yeah, give me four. Oh, I have the energy field. Can you beat that, Phil? All right, I drew the Silex and the energy field. Are we just going to hard lock each other this turn? Versus Tower. Okay, that's big Eldrazi energy. I do have Force of Will up here. He's got two, three, four, five, six, seven mana for an Eldrazi. But tapping Ancient Tomb puts him to one. Doing a Thought Knots here. He knows I have Dress Down. All right, how much mana is left? Karn can still be activated. I think I'd rather dress down and save my force. Just getting a redraw is really nice. Filigree Silex doesn't work as long as Karn's in play. I dress down. I drew Delver. That doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to need Energy Field to just hard lock. I have 13 cards left in my deck, though, so he actually wins that game. Karn's making a wish. Now, was I supposed to eat a Karn last turn? I didn't know I had access to Silex yet when that happened. Trinosphere. Okay, that doesn't matter. That's basically a redundant vexing bauble, as far as I'm concerned. I guess that's not even true, because now I can't force of will. I can't. Oh, wait, I don't have a draw step. You're going to deck before I do. And I'm going to pay four. There's the double bowmaster. Let's go. Clean up, discard, Karn, or... Playing so poorly right now. I'm just, my brain is off. Completely off. I need to kill Karn. And I should have done that in the end step. 
So I had to discard one less card. All right, Karn is gone. We'll see how many Ulamogs are in this deck. He has to remove Necro or Energy Field to win. Ulamog does it. And I have Ugin's happening. If there's another Ulamog in the deck, we're just dead. Taking my Bone Masters is going to stink, but maybe Filigree Silex is more important, you know? Yeah, I think you actually take Silex here. Yep, Silex is gone. Ratcheting up Walking Ballista can still kill creatures. Can't touch me. Okay, uh, I guess what I do now is go to my end step and go to one. And these are the cards I get for the game. I'd like to pay three life. Reason Borrower achieved. Okay, what do I do with that information? I have six cards. I can discard Fatal Push or Brainstorm. Doesn't matter. They're both bad. Are you out of Thought Not Seers yet? One, two, three, four. Yes, you are. Okay, we're almost there. What's Eye of Ugin got for me this time? Expedition map counter twice. He's just keeping his hand empty for Ensnaring Bridge. Like Ballista's doing some ratcheting here. Okay. Gotta make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, in the end step. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can cast two spells. I can bounce Trinisphere, or bounce what I care about. Ensnaring Bridge. Yeah, okay. Petty Theft, Ensnaring Bridge. And then play Brazen Borrower. I have two Force of Wills in my hand, so I can keep this thing gone. Cast Brazen Borrower. Opponent's at three. Can kill basically my whole board with Ballista. I guess I just go to combat. Back with all my creatures. Here they come. There's an, it's not getting better. I have no other plan. Killed Brazen Borrower, of course. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. The Ballista did block. I am getting two kills, which draws me two cards. I pinged that Bowmaster. Went to two life. I draw two cards. Wasteland. Play Wasteland. Got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I can hold up Force. Sanguinator versus Ballista. Ballista, or Bowmaster, tapped me out. God, this Ballista is so good. Can I beat this thing if it comes back down? No, so I just have to play Exsanguinator and hold up Force of Will. Uh, I am going to respectfully decline the Necro. There's a Saga, good rip. Just has so much mana. I'm not going to get through this Ballista. I don't know if he can beat the Energy Field Lock, though. He's also at four minutes on his clock to my eight and a half and can keep tutoring Eldrazi forever. Yeah, the Trinisphere, I said I didn't care about it when it did happen, but if Trinisphere wasn't in play, I would have killed Walking Ballista last turn and been able to follow up with creatures. This Ballista is just going to keep the board under control forever. Though I do have attacks here. Is it better for me to put him to one? Then I have three, four, five. One, two, three. You have to lose the Ballista here. All right. I'm going to end step Bowmaster. Deal one to you. I think this is enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. I end up with one creature left over. He'd have to tap Ancient Tomb to make this any bigger. Could block ping, ping, ping. And that's a trade. Oh, no, you can't block because I have Menace. Okay, here we go. I am going to be hard locked, but he's empty. Blocking the army. One. Oh, wait, no, I do get to keep one creature, right? Yeah, I get to keep one. And... I have Force of Will in my hand and one damage on the board. You're saying there's a chance. Pass the turn. Draw zero. Moment of truth. Oh, wait, Urza Saga, no! I mean, all right. This is actually down to Energy Field, and can this colorless deck remove it or not with Willamog already gone? Um, I'll Force of Will this, even though I probably shouldn't because I can't actually win. Should probably be more worried about things that might remove my energy field. All right, what did I tap myself out into? Okay, this doesn't matter. Exiled my creature, made a bunch of zero ones, and I just pass here. Yeah, I can't draw cards, and I can't take damage. He's got to figure out this puzzle, and I have one force of will in my hand. Fail to find out of saga bullets. Time to tutor some Eldrazi. Battery Shaper, if that's all you got left to look for, this actually looks good for the energy field block. 
Yeah, just F6. You're up. Karn. I'm going to force Karn. If there's any kind of answer, it probably comes out of Karn. Right, doing another Eye of Ugin. Battery Shaper. Yep. This is it. I've used my last card. I shouldn't have countered the Ensnaring Bridge. That was dumb. I had already identified that's not what this game was ever going to be about. Right, just back to your turn. Mattery Shaper. I kind of wish this was untimed, because if his deck has a win in it, he's going to win this game. But if he's fully locked, then it's actually over over. But if he does have a win, he has to find it in 45 seconds. Yeah, just passing back and forth. I can't do anything. My game is over. But there are decks that actually just can't beat an energy field. This used to be a thing with Rest in Peace in blue-white control decks. I have a few of those on the channel from the olden days. The One Ring, that's not going to save you. Can't tap it. It doesn't deal with anything. It's F6 contest. He must have an out. Like, he's values his time too much on this earth to play this out if he actually doesn't have any win cons. Or, or, like, he understands that he's going to deck first. I just wonder what it is. It would have been Ulamog. Okay, here's Karn. Is there another answer? Is there like a Meteor Golem or a Spine of Ishsa in the sideboard? Canoptic Scarab Swarm. That doesn't do anything. Wow. You really just don't have anything? And time's out. There it is. A thrilling conclusion to this. The energy field lock came up. Oh, all is dust is what he said. That was the out he was digging for. Okay, so he would have won this game in paper, but counted on Magic Online. And that's our time today with Necro Tempo. As far as the idea here, I don't hate it. When Necro Dominance came down and it drew 10, 15, 20 cards, ground back into matchups where a deck like this really shouldn't be grinding anymore, gave the deck a huge angle to play on, which is super cool. On the flip side, we had oh, Exsanguinator Cavalry in a deck with Delver of Secrets and Days. We had Dark Ritual, that was a bad draw a lot of the time, we got boarded out a lot. Finding the balance of all that stuff is probably worth doing. Like, I don't even know if this needs to be a Dark Ritual deck. You could just play 19 lands, 2 Necros, and find one at the point of the game where it's important. Because you're not really jamming this out on turn 1 anyway. We're not a deck that can leverage that. I do think Passive Life Gain is important. The Exsanguinator Cavalry was really good for that. March of Wretched Sorrow didn't come up very often, but... That sort of thing, if we can gain life incidentally, maybe cling to dust as a passive source of life gain that does other stuff too. Just thinking about how we can get extra cards out of Necrodom. Also the mana base, you, know, you probably want a basic island or basic swamp in here. Maybe both. We did play all of our matches today against Stomping ta Taxes, Phil Gallagher, Thraben Yu over there. All he does knows how to do is lock people out of games, so... Not exactly a picture of the metagame, but got obliterated for having zero basics in our deck time and time again here today. I think this is a cool idea. I think figuring out the Necrodominance play patterns is going to be really important if you're going to do something like this. Figure out how much life you can afford to pay, how many cards you're willing to discard into the void, etc. Like, just figure that stuff out. But the ability for a Delver deck to just draw 7 to 10 cards after it's already kind of done its Delver thing, undeniable. That was showcased in this league. And sometimes you get some goofy combos with stuff like Energy Field. I don't know. I'm going to leave this one here. Francis York Morgan, thank you for sharing this with us. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on Modern Horizons 3 for real in another week or so. Everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon, and I'll see you next time.